For more than a decade, they have campaigned under the banner of the so-called Free Britney movement. Standing up for the superstar, living her life under a legal arrangement which has handed decision-making and her fortune to her father. But Britney Spears wants to end it. So now for the first time, she has spoken about the case in explicit and emotional detail. Giving evidence remotely to a courtroom in LA, she likened herself to a slave. I'm not happy, I can't sleep, she said. I'm so angry, it's insane, and I'm depressed. I cry every day. I've been in denial, I've been in shock, I am traumatized. I want to end the conservatorship without having to be evaluated. I truly believe the conservatorship is abusive. The order, granted in 2008 when Britney had profound psychiatric issues, meant she lost primary custody over her two children. Her father, Jamie, subsequently took control of her affairs, but despite improvements in her mental health, she has since failed to overturn the arrangement. An arrangement which she claims has even extended to the prevention of her having more children. She told the court how she has allegedly been blocked from removing an IUD birth control device. I was told, right now in the conservatorship, I'm not able to get married or have a baby, she said. I have an IUD inside of myself right now, so I don't get pregnant. I deserve to have the same rights as anybody does by having a child, a family, any of those things. This was the most shocking performance of Britney Spears' life. We those often disturbing claims are now dominating the news in the US. A long legal process now follows why in the world she would think that she couldn't get married and who makes a woman use birth control like that if that is true that is a remarkable violation of her civil liberties and it must be investigated as the star's father issued a statement saying he was sorry to see his daughter in such pain one of the few fans to get inside the courtroom spoke about the testimony it was really, really overwhelming to finally hear Britney get to speak and hear everything from Britney's mouth rather than just a bunch of different lawyers. Britney, Britney. The judge called Britney Spears' comments courageous but made no further comment herself. It is a battle for Britney and a fortune put at more than $50 million. And Julian's in the studio for us now. What's the likelihood then that Britney will one day get her wish and be free? Hi, Peter. Yeah, Britney Spears was reading from a prepared statement and she was doing it over the phone, but this was such an impassioned, impactful 23 minutes uh, from her. But this, like a divorce, is a potentially slow process. She has to file a petition and then the court has to make an evaluation. Now, these conservatorships are usually in place for the vulnerable or the incapacitated, so the judge has to make a ruling on her health. Both sides can call witnesses uh, to speak about anything they've observed for and against uh, the arrangement staying in place all a really, really slow process. And some legal experts we've spoken to today suggest the volume of allegations made by Britney Spears could now actually make things harder for her because the smallest inaccuracy could damage her overall case, Peter.